Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am the Grand Cat and this is just a little update video. Um, we've, just feed a, we've just finished Team Road Glory and I think we've got a couple of spaces, we've got three spaces in our team. So if you want to join the team, make sure to join the Discord in the description below and someone will get you in there. You don't have to be arcane tier, but um, you do have to follow the attack plans and get the minimum requirements for Road Glory. So if we go into Road Glory you can see that um, everyone should have got 200 with the exception of the people that got the heroic upgrades which is 100 however red skeleton just stopped appearing online so uh, i think they are going to be removed from the team unfortunately but that out of the way let us get on to the fun stuff so first of all we are going to do another high chance shifter because we have two summer slam bcs that we can do that with uh, we're also going to get rid of some other cards, so first of all we're going to fortify our Hurricane. Yes, we will. And the Hurricane is now F1. Of course, we're also going to pro our two sixes, which will give us a 12. No. <laughs> and there is the pro X-Puck. And we also, finally, uh, let's remove this going to pro our two heroic solo sequoas to give us the double heroic solo sequoa and let's combine that and see how massive he will be my oh goodness on level zero he's already got 64 million stats across the board so now let's go into trainable and we're going to lock those down we of course get our Becky Lynch that's only at level 97 hasn't been fully done yet Hurricane's still fine and we want to lock down our six as well and we've got some cards that we can throw in so let's train up solo score let's train up solo score no you hmm yeah let's train them up okay <laughs> i was second guessing myself there so we're just going to get rid of all of these let's get rid of those four first of all and see where that puts us Puts up to level 93. Now these two. Level 101. Now let's look at that um, Finn Balor. So Finn Balor is Maelstrom. And we have to decide whether we're going to keep that um, Finn Balor or not. So let's just go to um, General. Hmm, we don't have any of the other ones. So, I'm thinking maybe we'll just let it go. It has a cool image and everything, but it's not really doing it. I never really liked the whole jacket thing. I think I've got one of Brock Lesnar that I kept. Yep, there he is. There's a Brock Lesnar one. But, um, I never really liked those. Well, we've also got an extreme, um, King Woods. But, um, I don't think they're particularly the best ones. Is there any Royal Rumble ones? No, let's take a look at Meyer. Nope, none there either. Okay, no, I think we're just going to let this Finn Balor go. Um, we don't really care that much about it, and in fairness, we really kind of need to make some space as well. So, I'm going to get rid of the Meyer. Oh, it puts us on level 104. I don't really want to go wasting the Meyer card. I mean, the Meyer isn't all that much, but I really want to go wasting it on something small like that. Hmm, also need to train up this Ronda Rousey that we just got. It's a very, very cool artwork for her, actually. Um, I mean, what ones could we use? Maybe that. <laughs> that looks, that always looks ridiculous, that one. Um, like, because they released that image. That's, that's pretty cool, actually. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to stick with that one. I think that looks really cool. Looks like she's, you know, sort of coming out with the portal behind her and taking off the jacket. Yeah, that's the image that we're going to get. We're going to stick with with that one. And um, we've got a whole bunch of cards here that you can see that we haven't bothered um, training yet. Like at this point, I'm just waiting until I get pros now because I think um, a new, well, a new tier or potentially a new season will be happening soon. I know the next card is a Codebreaker and it's going to be Seth Rollins which is going to be very very cool to see. Um, it's the same the same back artwork as what Dominic Mysterio was 
but the new Seth Rollins, he's wearing like a kind of white and I think it's a white suit with a pink a pink tie. I think that's what it is. Um, you know, obviously doing his his uh, drip sire in business. Um, let's let's improve Ronda a little bit. So that takes her up to level fifty three. There we are. So that should help her a little bit. And also if we go to deck editor and we go to females and look at the up arrows, um, it's probably going to replace this SummerSlam Bianca Belair. We don't have a pro of her, and it's the only one we don't have a pro of, so I think we can get rid of her actually. So let's go to females. And the only one that she's in is in Codebreaker. So yep, let's take that off and I think we're just going to use it on Rhonda. Puts her up to level 91 and that Rhonda will now most certainly um, have taken the space of that female apparel right there. Um, at this point I'm not looking for pro SummerSlam BCE females. Um, at this point I'm just kind of looking for arcanes and we're not really pulling that many arcane females. We've got Asuka, we've got Rhea Ripley and we've just recently got Rhea, uh, Ronda Rousey and of course we've got the pro vampire Becky Lynch which is our strongest female with the next one being the double heroic SummerSlam BCE Alea. So um, that is where we are at with them. I think I'm going to pro these two Askas as well because um, like that singular Asuka is still in our down arrows. Yep, there she is. And uh, the pro of that is of course going to be SummerSlam BCE, which should just overtake uh, Tiffany and probably be around the margin of this Asuka here. Um, and until we get some better females, that is probably the best that we can go for. So that is what I am planning to do. We also... I have been very lazy, um, so I've got all the daily challenges to do. Um, I've also got the shifter quests, which um, I've done very little of here. I've still got five days to do that, but this does give you a guaranteed shifter card, which is excellent to see. Um, if we get a Brock Lesnar, we can make a pro... Well, we can make a fortified one werewolf Brock Lesnar. If we get another Becky Lynch, we can get a fortified one Becky... Uh, if we get another Randy Orton, we can make a pro sea creature Randy Orton. If we get another Braun Breaker, we can make an F1 vampire. If we get a Stone Cold, we can make a pro of Stone Cold as well. We haven't turned the other Stone Cold into anything yet. And Braun, uh, Braun Strowman is going to be a brand new card. But it'll also be a brand new artwork as well, which we can use for future events. Other things we have um, is we have the Degeneration X pack, which... Um, at number 3 is free and gives you China and X-Pac. Number 6 is free and gives you Shawn Michaels. Number 9 is free and gives you the DX Triple H. And number 10 is, of course, the King of Kings. Very cool Arcane Triple H. Which I think someone on our team has a pro of. Let me see if I can give you the pro animation of that. There it is. So you can see it's very cool that the hammers slam together and the little druids hands move i don't know if you would call them druids and also the little mouth moves here on the side as well so it's it's a very very cool card when you get the pro of it and also its stats are absolutely massive as well uh 66 million speed which is the lowest and i think he's using this jewel to put the power and toughness up but i think power and charisma are the two strongest ones there so I imagine power is also about 67 million and toughness is probably around the 67 million, possibly 66 million. Although I just realised that the speed there is 6666, so that is very cool to see as well. But um, there we have it folks, I am going to play through all these quests. I'm also going to do the Wild Wednesdays as well, which I have not done, I've only got 7 hours left to do it, so I'm going to have to get a move on with that. And we're going to keep these 200 tickets for the next tier or potentially the next season. And then we're going to go through those as well. And yes, we're also in the middle of a team battleground as well. So if you want to join the team, be sure to join the Discord in the description below. And just say, hey, I'm a fan of the Grand Cat. I watch his videos and I would like to join your team. So that is going to be it for this video, folks. I really hope you all enjoyed. If you did enjoy, give us a like, share and subscribe. And if you are subscribed, make sure you click that notification icon so you can see when more of these videos go up. 
and we will see you all in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.